Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I'm a second grade teacher in West Michigan and today's vlog is being sponsored by Cricut. I'm so excited. I am a huge Cricut fanatic. I have been for years. I have a school Cricut, a home Cricut, and I actually have a Cricut Joy as well, which is like one of the little mini Cricuts. So because I have so many Cricuts, I actually decided I'm going to be sharing my Cricut Joy with a friend of mine. So one of my coworker besties, I texted her this morning and I said, what are the chances you don't have a Cricut and you would like one? And she was super excited. So I'm going to be giving her my Cricut Joy. So I'll show you like how I set it up on her desk. And I have a little haul for you of some materials that I'll be using for projects today from Cricut. And then I also have some Cricut Joy materials that I'll be sharing with my coworker. And then that way she can beautify her room with Cricut things. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to be making some gift items for a couple of my coworkers for their classrooms today. So I'll share with you, I have a little pennant banner right here that I made for my classroom using my Cricut. It says this classroom is better because you are in it. And I want to make one for one of my coworker friends because I think that she would like that and that would brighten her day. So that's going to be one of my bigger projects that I'm going to work on today. And I haven't decided if I'm going to do that like 100% here at school or if I'm going to work on it at home. I wanted to come into school today to work on a couple of things, just like moving things around. We just got through our first full week of school. So I feel like I'm really learning a lot about like how my classroom is going to function this year. There's a lot of different things this year. So I have more students than I've had in years past. And then also because I have a student teacher, I have like a space back here for her. And I feel like spatially, there's just like a lot of stuff I'm trying to get used to. So I think I'm gonna move some things around while I'm in my classroom So if I spend a long time doing that, then I might do the Cricut stuff at home and film it there I don't know. We're gonna wait and see now The nice thing about that is like I said, I do have two Cricuts I have one at school and one at home So it doesn't really matter if I do it here or there But I might like start a project here finish it there work on another one there I don't know. We'll just kind of see how it goes, but I literally use my Cricut for everything So I'm so excited to be partnering with them today I've worked with them a couple of times before and they are just like one of my absolute favorite companies ever because I love my Cricut literally so many things around my classroom have been made with my Cricut. So actually I'll walk you around really quick and I'll share with you some of the things I've used my Cricut for in the past and then also kind of tell you my game plan for what I'm doing today. So here we go. I've used my Cricut for all of my bulletin boards to cut out vinyl around my classroom. So like for my book buddies bin, my weekly copies bin, and literally so many different things around my classroom. Magic scrap bin, this pennant you saw at the beginning. I absolutely love it. And then also I just learned how to make stickers using the print and cut feature on my Cricut. So that's for my student teacher. I have letters above my desk that say my name. I use my Cricut for everything. So to actually make the things I'm thinking of making, I'm thinking I might do that part at home. And while I'm at school today, I want to get done the couple of things that like I would have to do in my classroom I can't do at home. And then I'll show you like the finished product of what all of my goodies end up looking like once they're all done. Okay, so here is the Cricut Joy that I'm going to be sharing with my friend. I'm so excited. I hope she loves it. I love the size of this and how easy it is to transport back and forth. I actually have a couple friends who have this that they bring it back and forth in and out of their classrooms. And yes, I've used this for a handful of projects. Really, really like it. But then I also have a box of goodies. Oh, there goes something. I have a box of materials that I'm gonna be using for the projects that I'm doing today. I'm excited. So I got some smart vinyl. This is super nice because you don't have to use the mat for it, which I love. So this is just permanent vinyl and it's the smart vinyl. And then I got the same one in black as well. I also got two packs of everyday iron on. I got black and white of that as well. And then the rest are little Cricut Joy ones that I'm gonna be sharing with my friend. So I got a couple of little smart vinyls as well. So I got black and white for her. So there's the white, here's the black. Oh, that's blue. Just kidding, hold on. Here's the black. And then I also got blue because I thought she would like that pretty color. And I thought maybe she could use that for something in her classroom. And then I also got a couple of Smart Iron On little boxes. And so I got black and white for this as well. So you can do little vinyl projects on like t-shirts or on little banners or whatever it might be. So yes, I'm gonna go set this up in her classroom a quick moment and I'll bring you with me. So let's go unlock her classroom door and I'll put all of this stuff in there. Yay! So this is what the Cricut Joy looks like when I set it up with all the materials. And then I left a little note for Ashlyn, who is my mentee. I seriously learn just as much from her as she learns from me. She is one of my dearest friends. I adore her. So I left her that with a little treat. So she can see that on Monday. And then I needed to bring in a little table for my back room because I did not have one. So I found this table and then just got it set up in the space. 
Okay, so plot twist. I'm having some issues with my laptop right now. I think I just need to like restart it and maybe clear up some space on my hard drive. So I think what I'm gonna do is do my Cricut projects at home. Luckily, I have a Cricut all set up and ready to go. And then I'll bring my projects back in so I can show you what they look like, like all set up. And yeah, I think that's just gonna be how it goes. This is the Cricut Design Space. It's a free software that's super user-friendly and easy to learn, and I use it for all of my Cricut projects. You can make so many different types of projects on your Cricut. As you saw, I have so many different things around my classroom that I've used for my Cricut and way more than I even showed at the beginning. For the amount of money that you can save by creating with your Cricut, it's definitely a great value. There are also a ton of bundles available that can allow you to save some money and get some different materials. A lot of times I'll get ideas on like Pinterest or Instagram or even just when I'm out shopping and I love being able to use my Cricut to recreate those ideas and make them my own and also just be creative and come up with my own ideas too. So here is the process of making my pennant banner. Okay, so this is what the final project ended up looking like. It says this classroom is better because you are in it and I think it turned out so cute. I'm going to give this to one of my coworkers who I absolutely adore and hopefully she can find a space for this in her classroom. Thank you again to Cricut for partnering with me on this video. I really hope that all of you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.